Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to a new what I eat in a day with some easy everyday vegan meal ideas and recipes. Breakfast was really quick and easy this day. Some of the Alpro Greek style plain yogurt for protein. I had that with some corn flakes and then I added in some raspberries and some sliced strawberries. Then lastly, I squeezed over some agave nectar. The cornflakes that I get are sugar-free, so I like to add my own natural and slightly healthier sweetener because I know how much is going in that way. Plus I like a little sweetness with this yogurt and I love the combination of this thick creamy yogurt with the crunch from the cornflakes which makes for a different alternative to granola but overall it's a really quick breakfast idea to throw together. For lunch, I made a chickpea tuna, pesto and avocado toasted ciabatta sandwich. I made some chickpea tuna. I've shared the recipe for this numerous times, so I will write it up in the description box. Sometimes I change it up a bit, but it's mostly mashed chickpeas, obviously. Then I finally chop a red onion, a stick of celery and a handful of fresh dill. Also add in some chopped dill pickles, capers and their juice, and a sheet of nori, a little Dijon mustard, then I add in both vegan mayonnaise and yogurt, just so it's not all mayonnaise, some lemon zest and juice, some vegan fish sauce, which is so great as an alternative to fish sauce for adding that taste of the sea flavor to dishes, season with salt and pepper, and then combine everything together it's always such a good filling for sandwiches, bagels, wraps, on baked potatoes and I always make enough to have leftovers for the next day. I then also made a quick pesto by grinding up salt, pine nuts and a clove of garlic with a pestle and mortar. I then added in nutritional yeast, lemon juice, olive oil and a handful of fresh basil leaves and ground that down until smooth and it does go slightly creamy with the nutritional yeast and lemon. I then sliced a third of a loaf of ciabatta in half and toasted it. Then once toasted, I spread some of the amazing homemade pesto on the inside of both pieces, laid in some thinly sliced tomato, then added some of the chickpea tuna over the top. I sliced up half of an avocado and added that on too, as well as a nice big handful of fresh rocket and then just slice that in half. Toaster sandwiches are my vibe right now. I shared another one of my favorite fillings in my last What I Eat In A Day video, but this is such a good combination too. That garlicky, fragrant basil pesto with the chickpea tuna, which is creamy with the mayo and has the flavors of red onion, dill, the salty taste of the sea flavors from the capers and nori, then the creamy avocado with the slight heat from the rocket on that crispy toasted bread. It just works so well. In the afternoon, I had an Alpro Greek style yogurt in the strawberry and raspberry flavor. Just mixed up the fruit compote in the bottom of the pot with a thick yogurt. And then I added some of the Fuel Superberry granola on top with some fresh raspberries. I love these yogurts, but with the addition of the granola and the fruit, it makes it such a good snack or even a quick breakfast. Then I also had some of the Minor Figures latte made with oat milk, loads of ice. This is so good, really creamy and not too strong because I'm not a coffee lover unless it's weak, milky and iced. Otherwise, it usually makes me feel really bad, but this one never does and it's just so good. Then for dinner, I made my sticky lemongrass tofu chicken meatballs with a green bean salad. I made the lemongrass chicken meatballs by adding a block of well-drained, very firm tofu into the food processor, along with two spring onions, which I'd halved, two stalks of lemongrass, which again I'd halved and removed the outer layer, one shallot halved, a red chili halved, a chunk of peeled ginger, four cloves of garlic, and the zest of a lime 
Then I took a really good handful of fresh coriander with the stalks included and added that in too, along with a tablespoon of that vegan fish sauce, a quarter of a teaspoon of white pepper, a good pinch of salt, and then a third of a cup of brown rice flour. I then just pulsed that together until it was well combined and then started to almost clump together like this, which then makes it really easy to turn into the meatballs. This usually makes around 12 to 14 meatballs depending on the size you make them, but I usually take a heaped tablespoon and then roll that between the palms of my hands to form a ball. And then once all the meatballs are made, I set them in the fridge for an hour. This part is really important. After an hour, I then heated a few tablespoons of olive oil in a pan on a medium heat and placed in the meatballs one at a time. I did 10 all together and then any leftovers I just store in the fridge for up to three days to use later on. I just very shallow fried them off, constantly turning until they turn a golden brown on all sides. It might take around 10 to 15 minutes and they've cooked all the way through in the middle and end up looking a little something like this. For the green bean salad, I first sliced up a cucumber into smaller chunks. I then took two spring onions and thinly sliced those up, de-seeded a red chilli and finely sliced that too. Then I took a large handful each of fresh coriander and basil and tore those up roughly. I had put some green beans onto steam for only a couple of minutes, they still want to have a little bit of a crunch to them. And then I ran them under cold water when cooked and then when cool, I added them in with the other ingredients. I then poured over some more of that vegan fish sauce and squeezed over the juice of half a lime and then tossed it all together until it was well combined and everything was coated in the kind of dressing. Had that with some vermicelli rice noodles and with the green bean salad on the side. Then to make the lemongrass chicken meatballs sticky, I just mixed together a little agave nectar with some xanthan gum to thicken it. You can also use a little corn flour and then I brushed that over the top to give them a nice coating. Had some lime on the side for the noodles and the meatballs but the full recipe for this will be in the blog post linked below. The meatballs are so delicious. I really wanted to create a vegan version of chicken meatballs with all of the flavors of lemongrass, chili, ginger, lime, and garlic, but with a sticky sweet coating. And that sweetness from the agave works so nicely with the other flavors, especially the heat from the chili. I will say these don't bake well in the oven. They tend to dry out too quickly and become a bit crumbly. So shallow frying is best and it gives them that crispy outer too. And they really go nicely with that green bean salad. It's refreshing with the crunchy cucumber and the fragrant herbs and with the vegan fish sauce and lime as a light dressing. Then for dessert, I had a Rhythm 108 almond and sea salt Swiss chocolate bar. I've mentioned these before, they're so good. And that was it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Recipes as always are in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.